Okay, this is part two of this vlog. <laughs> it's like 20 after one, and I'm going to go ahead and exercise. I mean, a lot of times... I'll end up exercising for a good solid hour or something, but we'll see how long it takes me to complete this workout according to how many calories my watch says I've burned. You know, this is as good a time as any to say that sometime or another... I'm going to try to take this iPod into the Apple Store, because I I called the Apple Store, I don't want to talk about the reason why I'm going to one Apple Store versus another. The Apple Store that I have to go to is in a neighboring city, because the Apple Store in this city Apparently it's a parking nightmare, etc., etc. Crappy luck, crappy luck, crappy luck. And the door-to-door -door transit system that I use does not pick up and drop off at the door there. They pick up and drop off at some designated fixed route bus stop that I am not able to go out of the store and find the bus stop. And it's no one's job I mean, that is, there is no one, there's, yes, I am going to talk about it. Why do I even say I'm not going to talk about stuff? Uh, because I always do anyway. Anyway, um, they won't pick up at the door, and I won't try to meet them at a bus stop. It doesn't fall within anyone's job description who works at the Apple store to get me out of the store and make sure I connect for the driver that might not even show up for half an hour. I just won't do it, period. I'll, I, I haven't done it yet, but I'd rather spend more time sitting on the bus driving around to get to the store in the other city where they actually pick up and drop off at the door like they're supposed to. They are a door-to-door -door transit system. Anyway, I'm going to take this iPod into this Apple store at some point and see about this mic, see if maybe it's defaulting to a file format that... Because I actually asked her. I called the Apple store and asked... Um, is there something different in the f fifth versus the sixth generation iPod that would explain why this mic is so awful? And she says, no. The guys at Simply Mac thought that it was the iPod mic versus the iPhone mic. The iPhone mic's just better than the iPod mic. I'm going, but the iPod... The other iPods did make good videos. And actually, I wonder if it does have something to do with file formatting, because eventually, I tried to I tried to create another. I deleted iMovie, reinstalled iMovie, tried again, and even though it took a good 20 minutes or something, it did finally export. So I wonder if it's just a bad file format that it defaults to. Anyway, I don't know how to change it or what to change it to. So I'm hoping that they can help me with that. But the bottom line in saying all of this is that hopefully I'll be able to stop wearing this thing, this headset mic, every time I want to do any kind of video because I mean honestly how much do you guys want to hear you know every you know, like, 
every time the headset mic makes any kind of movement or anything, you hear it. So it's like, okay, it would be better if I would just use the internal mic. And it would be a lot more convenient, too. But you've heard that mic. I don't like it. I'm sure you don't like it. Or maybe you just don't care because you're... you're tuned into more than just the way something sounds. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's only 140-something. Yeah. And I'm about halfway done with the workout, so we'll see what happens. If it's 2 o'clock and I end up done with it, I seriously might cancel my ride and get Uber home because I really, if there's any chance of UPS showing up at 410 and me actually being there to accept it, I'd much rather do that than have them show up, although it's also just as possible that they showed up five minutes ago and I don't know what they did if that happened. Or that they'll show up between now and the time I can even think about getting home. I'm sorry, I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about this, but. <laughs> Although I'm not really all that sorry, because they say, they, they say, be yourself when you vlog. And being myself means I'm worried about this thing. Damn it, I wish I wouldn't have had to leave. But as concerned as I am about this, I mean, I almost called her to ask if there's any way that we could just reschedule or skip this week, but she wasn't available. And even as I was calling, I was thinking, okay, is this enough of a reason to, to cancel? To, I mean, in some ways, it's almost like going to work. You know, I know some people wouldn't think of class as that important, but I do. Or even some people probably wouldn't even think of work as that important, but I do. And it's like, okay, is that, is that really a valid reason to take time off? Oh, I'm waiting for this package. Well, I, I couldn't go through with it, so... stuff just happened the way it happened and I hope I'll either come home to find it after all or they're on a late truck that gets there just in time to actually catch me at home. <laughs> Unfortunately that's a no-go plan anyway because I'm at like 80 something percent I had to pause the workout because It's 80, 83, 84% complete. And my class is going to start here literally in less than 10 minutes. I'm not going to be able to finish 15% of a workout in six minutes. I'm going to have to stop and go to class. Okay. I never did end up getting back on the treadmill. I will be, I guess, walk in the hall later to finish that workout. So, what ended up, what ended up happening was I did go to class, um, and, um, then... <laughs> The computer teacher called me. We're having ongoing problems with the computer, and that needed my attention for a while. And by the time I got out of there, my window was going to open in, like, again, not even ten minutes. It's like, okay, there's no reason to try to start. I mean, <laughs> 
so I'll just finish it by walking the halls. And then I checked my email, and sure enough, they had tried to deliver it, and I wasn't here. But the good news is that they're going to try again tomorrow. So that tells me that I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. I'm staying home to accept that package. Thank goodness. Tomorrow, I have control over what I do with my day. And tomorrow, I reserve the right to say, I've got a package coming and I have to be here to accept it. I'm not going anywhere. So, with that said, I may or may not create a third part to this vlog, but I'm going to end this one and I'll see you in the next video or part three or whatever might. Come up. <laughs> Bye.